In this video, I will be showing you how to solve absolute value equations that may have extraneous solutions. So basically, oh goodbye. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve absolute value equations where you may get extraneous solutions. So extraneous is just a fancy name for fake. So we want to know which solutions are real and which solutions are fake. So in this example, this is the first time we have seen absolute value on one side, but on the other side, we have a variable. We have negative 3x plus 5. So pretend this negative 3x does not exist. How will we set this up? We will write the two equations, 2x minus 10 equal to negative 5, or 2x minus 10 equal to positive 5. Now putting the negative 3x back into the equation, we can set it up the same way. So the first equation, 2x minus 10 equal to, let's go ahead and change the sign of everything on this side. So negative 3x becomes positive 3x, and positive 5 becomes negative 5. So that will be equation number 1. And the second equation, exactly the same. So just like what we did before when it's simply a number on the other side. And now we solve for x for both of them. So we want to get the x's on the left side so this 2x can stay. This negative 3x need to come over here becomes uh, positive 3x come over here becomes negative 3x. The numbers need to be on the right side so this negative 10 needs to move becomes positive 10 and this minus 5 stays. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1x. 10 minus 5 is positive 5, and now we need to divide by negative 1. So we get x equal 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. Now doing the same for the blue equation. So the 2x stays here. This negative 3x needs to come over here, positive 3x. This negative 10 needs to go over to the right side, becomes positive 10. And this 5 is already in the correct place. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Dividing both sides by 5, and we get x is equal to positive 5. And now here is the new part. How to check for extraneous. So you look at this, the right side of the original equation that I underline in the green, this negative 3x plus 5, you know that absolute value has to equal positive. So what you want to do is you want to plug in your x value, this negative 5, into here and see if you get a positive or negative answer on the right side. So using the green equation, we can go negative 3 times, put negative 5 in here, plus 5. Negative 3 times 5 is 15, plus 5 is equal to 20. So that means x equals to negative 5 is a real answer. Now, let's do the same with the blue answer, positive 5. So we put negative 3 times positive 5 plus 5. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, plus 5, which is negative 10. And so this is basically saying that on this side of the equation, you have a negative 10. And we know that absolute value cannot equal to a negative. So that means the x equals to 5 is a fake solution. That's the extraneous. So the only real answer is x equal to negative 5. This example, we begin by writing the two equations. The first one will be x plus 8 equal. And now remember to change the sign of everything here. Negative 3x becomes positive 3x. Positive 4 becomes negative 4. That's the first equation. And the second equation, nothing changes. x plus 8 is equal to negative 3x plus 4. So solving each equation, here we have x minus 3x. Bring that over. Bring the 8 over because negative 8 minus 4. So this is a 1 in front. 1 minus 3 is negative 2x equal negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. Dividing both sides by negative 2, we have x is equal to positive 6. 
And here, so the x stays here, this negative 3x needs to move over, becomes positive 3x. This 8 moves, becomes negative 8, and bring down the positive 4. 1x plus 3x is equal to 4x. Negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. So dividing both sides by, oh sorry, this should be a positive 4. Dividing both sides by 4, we have x is equal to negative 1. So now we have our two solutions, 6 and negative 1. But let's check each of them, plug them into the right side of the original equation. So first I am going to put in 6 for x. So putting this in, negative 3 times 6 plus 4. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Plus 4, which is negative uh, 14 which means that x equal to 6 is not a real answer. That is the extraneous solution. Now, let's check the blue one. Negative 3 multiply with negative 1 plus 4. So negative 3 multiply with negative 1 is positive 3 plus 4, which is 7. And this is OK because it is positive. So that means the only real solution is x equal negative 1. Now for this example, we will begin by writing the two equations, 3x minus 4 equal to, on this side, remember the first equation, we changed the sign of everything on this side. So this positive x, change it to negative x. And the second equation, everything exactly the same, no change. So let's go ahead and solve each of those equations, the 3x. It's already on the left side. Let's bring over this negative x becomes positive x. We can put a 1 in front of it to help us add. And then for the numbers, all we have is this negative 4 moves over, becomes positive 4. So we have 4x equals to 4. Divide both sides by 4. And we have x equal 1. Now looking at the blue side, this 3x stays over here, this x comes over here, becomes negative 1x, and this negative 4 moves, becomes positive 4. So 3x minus 1x is 2x equal to positive 4, and dividing by 2, we have x equal 2. And notice here, on the right side, all we have is x, so when you plug it in, well, when x is 1, that's positive. So that means x equal to 1 is a legit solution. And so is 2 because this is also positive. And so this is one example where both solutions work. So sometimes you will have both solutions work, sometimes only one solution work, and sometimes none of the solutions work.